Hello clean freaks and germaphobes. Today I'm going to talk about how to clean your strawberries. Now this is a new trend you've probably heard about of soaking strawberries in salt water. Why? Because people have been finding that bugs live inside the berries and I decided to try it out to see what lurks in my strawberries. This is what you need to do is fill a bowl with water at room temperature, pour in a lot of sea salt. I'm going to do about three large spoonfuls. Put your strawberries in and then wait for five to 30 minutes. So I have some strawberries I just got from the store. And if you'll stay tuned, I'm also gonna show you how to make them last longer. But first we're gonna see if there's any bugs in them. You've seen this probably on TikTok and other places. And so I'm gonna foil this with water. Okay, got some sea salt here. I'm gonna have to get some more after this. One, two, Three. Okay, this is not an exact recipe. Actually, I should have put the salt in the water first and then put the strawberries in. While those are soaking, I'm gonna talk about more about the bugs and things that you can find in your strawberries, why they're there, and then more about how to make it so that they last longer. I don't know about you, but I sometimes forget about my strawberries and they go bad. So I wanna look for a way to prolong their life. So if you do find worms in your strawberries, where did those come from? They're an offspring of a type of fruit fly, also known as a spotted wing dysphalia, if I said that right. We're just going to call it SWD, and they can be found in most of the United States. Now Cornell University reported that this fly is attracted to berries like raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and it's notable because it lays its eggs inside the fruit often before it's harvested instead of overwrite or rotting fruit, which is what other fruit flies prefer. So if you want to wash your strawberries and get pesticides off of them, you need a 10% salt solution. Now the instructions removing the bugs are kind of all over the place. Some say you should soak the berries for five minutes, some say up to 30 minutes, some say you should use cold water, while others say warm water is the best because it dissolves the salt faster. But no matter what you do, you must rinse them thoroughly afterwards. Otherwise, your strawberries will be salty. I don't know about you, but I'd rather put sugar instead of salt on my berries. All right, so this has been soaking. Okay, there's definitely floaties in the water. I don't see any bugs or worms, at least that I could tell. I mean, there's little specks. And I think those are from, you know, those seeds maybe coming off. But I think I would need a microscope to see if there is anything that looks like bugs. But I definitely don't see any worms. So I'm gonna say that these are pretty clean strawberries. <laughs> Sorry, folks, kind of boring. I mean, the water looks a little bit dirty. Okay, I don't see any bugs or anything, but just to clean them and also make sure the salt gets off, I'm gonna just put them in the colander and give them a good rinse. Guys, thanks for sticking with me this long. I just wanted to show, I put my strawberries inside of this and here's what they look like and you know what I have since found a better way this method is fine but you know my strawberries they're they're looking okay but I want to teach you the best way and for this I'm going to use grapes because they always get shriveled up and they don't taste so good after a while they last a long time but they can dry up and just not be you know juicy and plump and kind of have that bite to them they get soft and mushy so i'm going to rinse these off with the vinegar solution and then i'm going to do something different to make them last even longer you guys may not believe me but it is worth the extra effort to do this i always have fruit on hand and i always want to make it last longer and i realize i've been lazy and I could do this simple thing to make them last so much bit longer. First of all, with grapes, you need to take them off the stems. I'm gonna put them in here. This is great for lunches, to just have them ready to eat for the kids. Okay, I have those. I'm adding my vinegar. Some water. I'm just gonna let them soak for like five minutes. They're really good. They're really super crunchy and yummy. That's how I love them. But you know if I don't do anything, they won't keep that way for very long at all. And I'm just gonna drain them. And I have a towel set out. Okay, so I'm just gonna let them air dry, let them space out. Okay, now everything is air dried, so I'm just gonna put these back in. 
the container. Okay, make sure it's airtight. You can use glass or plastic. I just have this container that I'm reusing. And then just stick it in the fridge. As long as you don't have too much water, stick it in the fridge and it will last so much longer. You might be worried about the possibility of ingesting bugs, but the reality is that you've been consuming them for years, but you just didn't know it. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, it has limits on the amounts of bugs that foods can contain. But like if you have broccoli, canned tomatoes, or even beer hops, they're going to contain insect fragments. I'm not gonna go into that, but if you want peace of mind, you can just start soaking your strawberries and all of your produce in salt water, but that doesn't even mean you'll be able to eliminate bugs 100%. Sorry, it's just not possible. So I hate to tell you the bad news that you're already eating bugs and you're getting a little bit of extra protein without knowing it. So pretend you don't know that and just keep eating as usual. Now you might think that that the idea of eating these strawberries and maybe having bugs makes you a little bit queasy. Just remember that it's not all that unusual. And these bugs, even if you eat them, are not gonna hurt you at all. I mean, you've already been eating bugs anyway on a regular basis your entire life. If you're eating fresh produce, you're eating bugs, but they're still good for you. I mean, it makes for a good video, especially because most people don't realize that eating an insect is a natural part of the growing process and bugs often come along for the ride. Now let's move on to the more exciting part of how to keep your berries fresh longer. And you know what the secret is? White vinegar, this. Now check out these step-by-step -step directions, but once you bring your fresh strawberries home, the key to keeping them fresh is to kill any spores on the fruit. That is what the pH of vinegar does. So follow these instructions. You just do one part vinegar to four parts of water. So I'm gonna put these in here, my salt bath strawberries. So I'm gonna do a quarter cup of vinegar. Whew, it smells like we're making fish and chips to one cup of water. Okay, then you just wanna dislodge any dirt, grime, or anything else, you know, extra leaves on your strawberries. Now this is gonna kill the spores and any bacteria on your berries. Next, you're gonna drain the berries in a colander and then thoroughly rinse them so they don't taste like vinegar. Now I wanna make sure these are dry. Okay, now I'm just gonna dry these off. I know this is a little bit of extra work, but if it makes my strawberries last a lot longer, it's worth it to me. I've realized something else while I'm doing this, and that is that strawberries can stain towels. So don't use a towel that you wanna keep. Okay, now I'm gonna line my container with paper towel to just soak up any extra liquid. Okay, lovely. Now that you've washed and dried this fruit, you can put it in a sealed container or one like this that's been lined with paper towels, but you don't wanna put on the lid tightly to avoid natural moisture buildup. The nice thing is that these already come in a container that's like a strainer, and you can do the whole thing right in these containers and then put it right into the fridge. But make sure to line it with paper towels. Now, if you don't have any vinegar, you can also do a quick hot water bath, 30 seconds in 125 degree water for blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries, 30 seconds in 140 degree water for blueberries. And that has also shown to kill bacteria, resulting in fewer berries going bad. Last of all, you can also use a commercial produce cleaner like one called Eat Cleaner. I'll put a link to that in the video description, but that's another option for cleaning fresh berries and other kinds of fruits. It also keeps your apples from browning. So anyway, that's it, you guys. I feel like this is kind of anticlimactic because I could not find anything in my berries but I'm just gonna try one now. This does not taste like salt, doesn't taste like vinegar, and it's gonna last longer. So I call that a win. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you know someone that wants to check this out, please share this video with them and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. In a video that Diana did that I'll put a link to at the end of this video, she's gonna show you how to prolong the life of other fruits and vegetables, including how to grow your own microgreens right on your windowsill. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in that video.